everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will still be focusing on the algebra processes, but our main focus will be on equations with fractions. So I've decided to pick out three questions, three past questions from YA, and we are going to solve this together. All right, let's go to the first one. First one we have one over five x minus one over seven x equals to seven over fifteen. Sorry, seven over fifteen. All right. So we are going to find the LCM of the denominator. So we can multiply all three by the LCM of the denominator. So now we have 5, 7, 15. So we use 3, 5, 7, 3 goes into 15, that's 5, 1, 7, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 3 times 5 is 15. 15 times 7 is 105. All right, so we are going to multiply all through by 105. So 1 over 5x times 105 minus 1 over 7x times 105 is equal to 7 over 15 times 105. All right, so 5 goes into itself. 1 goes into 10, 2 goes in here, 1. So 7 goes into itself, 1 goes into 10, 1, and 3, 7 goes into 35, that is 5 times, sorry. All right, so now in this case now, so 15 goes into itself, 1 goes into 105, that is 7 times. All right, so in this case now, I'm left with 1x times 21. So 1x times 21 is... 21x minus 1x times 15 is minus 15x is equal to 7 times 7 is 49. The reason why we multiplied all three by the same of the denominator was to make this a linear equation, and this has really helped us a lot. All right, so 21 minus 15x gives us 6x is equal to 49. So I'm going to divide both sides by 6. X to so 6 goes in here, that is 8 times when the 1 over 6. Alright, for number 2, we have 3x plus 2 over 5 minus 2x plus 3 over 3 is equal to 3. Alright, so we are going to multiply all two by the LCM of the denominator, just like we did in number one. So five times three is 15. The reason why we're not going to calculate that is because there are two prime numbers in there that just multiply. Five times three is 15. I'm going to multiply everything by 15. So I have three X plus two over five times 15 minus two X plus three over three times 15 is equals to three times 15. All right, so 5 goes into itself, sorry, 5 goes into itself, 1, goes into 15, 3 times. 3 goes into itself, 1, goes into 15, 5 times. Now, I'm going to use 3 to open, to multiply all through with this. So 3 in brackets, 3x plus 2 minus 5 in brackets, 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 times 14 will give me 45. All right, so 3 times 3x is 9x plus 6x because 3 times 2 is, sorry, is 6. All right, minus 5 times 2x will give me minus 10x. Minus 5 times plus 3 will give me a minus 15, which is equal to 45. All right, so we are going to collect, we are going to pay them first before we collect like terms. So we have 9x minus 10x plus 6 minus 15 is equal to 45. So 9x minus 10x is minus x. So 6 minus 15, that will give us a minus 9 is equal to 45. So minus x is equal to 45 plus 9. So this will give me minus x is equal to 
45 plus 9 will give me 54. So I'm going to divide both sides by minus 1. So x is equal to 54 divided by minus 1 will give me minus 54. Alright, for question 3, I have 2 x minus 1 over 3 minus 3 minus minus 3 minus x over 2 is equal to x over 4. So in this case now I'm going to find the LCM of the denominators 3, 2 and 4. That will give me 12. Alright, so I'm going to multiply all through by 12. You are, you'll be wondering how I got the 12. So we have 3, 2, 4, 2 goes, is that possible? 1, 2. 2 goes here, 3, 1, 1. 3 goes here, 1, 1, 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So 2x minus 1 over 3 times 12 minus 3 minus x over 2 times 12 is equals to x over 4 times 12. All right, 3 goes into itself, 1 goes into 12, 4. 2 goes into itself, 1 goes into 12, 6. 4 goes into itself, 1 goes into 12, that is 3. All right, so I'm going to use 4 to multiply with 2x minus 1. So 4 in bracket 2x minus 1 minus 6 in bracket 3 minus x is equal to 3 times x is 3x. Don't forget that the main aim of, by mul of multiplying through with the, L with the LCM is because we want it to be a linear equation. So now let's open the brackets. We have 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. Minus 6 times 3 is minus 18. Minus times minus plus 6x is equals to 3x. So we are going to collect like terms now in this case now. We have 8x plus 6x minus 3x will give me 4 plus 18. So 6 plus 6 plus 6, 8 plus 6 will give me 14. 14 minus 3x will give me 11x. So we have 4 plus 18 will give me 22. So I'm going to divide both sides by 11. So x is equal to 22 divided by 11 is 2. We've come to the end of our lesson today. I hope you learned a lot. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting mathematics videos. Bye.